Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text, time to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the narrative lectionary, and the, and the text is Genesis 32, 22 to 30, and some uh, bracketed verses before that. And this is about... Uh, Jacob getting his name changed to Israel. That Jacob wrestles with the angel, wrestles with God, and he ends up when he, at the end, demands a blessing. Uh, you know, he wrestles and, and uh, he asks that question, not asks the question, he demands, a, demands the blessing and his name gets changed. What's your name? Jacob. It's no longer known as Jacob, it's Israel. So, uh, the direction I'm going is pretty much a standard direction that I like to go with this is about how we in our um, relationship with God, our name gets changed. Uh, we are now a uh, child of God. We are Saint. Saint Saint John, Saint Susan, Saint Frederick, um, Saint Juan, you know, I mean all kinds of um, different names. Um, but we're saints, we're set apart, we're made holy because of what God does for with for and with us and through us we are set apart as being holy as god has claimed us and renamed us so it's um you know it's a little it's late september we're not near halloween yet however every store out there has how is starting to get halloween costumes starting to do these things so what better way to take advantage of that than use a Halloween in the children's sermon. So I'm going to talk about what I all I always love to dress up for. How Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. I love it, and I and I've had arguments with folks about um, why we should, why we shouldn't. You know, the cross is a powerful thing. God's grace covers so much, and um, my God's victorious. So I love Halloween. And I actually think the idea of going door to door and knocking on the door and being given candy is a really an image of grace because I never got to the door by myself. My parents always drove me because we lived out in the country. We had to get in the car, drive into town. There was no way I could do that by myself. Grace. I got went up, knocked on the door. Someone put candy in my bag. Free. Grace. You know, anyway, so that's... I digress as I as a tangent left and right, um, but I'm going to talk about costumes because we we put these costumes on and we pretend we're something else. We put a costume on and say, like, "I'm Spider Man," "I'm," and I always was Dracula. Up to I mean, I ever since a little kid, every year it might be a different rendition of Dracula. Once in junior high, I was a, a futuristic Dracula with metal paint, you know, me metalish. Anyway, each one was a different rendition, but it was still Dracula. It was still, it wasn't even a, just a vampire, it was Dracula. So, um, you know, and that was each year, being that in. You know, and there's different ways. You could talk about the kids, if, they're, if they've thought about what they're going to go uh, dress up as Halloween. And, you know, and then there's, because the, so we dress up and we pretend, yet God does something so much more for us that when God calls us saint, that's not pretend. That's not make-believe. God is claiming us, and God is changing us, and God is forgiving and loving us. And that is that changes who we are. When Jacob was changed, his name was changed to Israel, it changed who he was. And God's grace does that with us. So that's the direction I'm going, is using, and not, and not as in like, oh, you just dress up here, because play is such an important part. When we don't know exactly how to do it, a lot of times we'll uh, role play. You know, we do that in counseling. You know, let's let's um, uh, try out a scenario, try out a uh, a skit, and but for the kids, you know, it's like we're gonna play that we're this, but we know that, or we need to be told that God loves us and God. Um, God forgives and redeems us. So that's the direction I'm going. I'm using the costume, using what we're pretending to be, and then highlighting what God has done for us in the waters of baptism through grace. And as God has changed Jacob's name to Israel, God changes us 
and gives us a new name, Saint this. I have done for congregations uh, when I've preached on this, I have given name tags so when people come in, they put in their first name and I've already have it printed up so they can't um, make it so you can't read it. I, I print out Saint so they put in their name um, Saint Sharon, Saint John they, and they write their name in but it's that whole thing. So anyway, there we are. Hope this can be a springboard for your own thinking around your children's sermon. And as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fantastic week.